this video, we're going to show you how to use your Sable Stem Pro on multiple different muscle groups and provide you the instructions on how to apply the electrode pads correctly to stimulate those muscles. Don't forget to leave us a comment or click the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of our new releases. Electrode placement for shoulder subluxation. Got two leads, four electrodes. So starting just finding the gap where the subluxation is, just beneath that gap at the back of the upper arm, we've got one electrode on posterior deltoid. Then follow that line round to the mid of the upper arm, the mid deltoid, and then one electrode right on the front, following the same line on anterior deltoid. And then the fourth electrode on the long head of triceps. So that's just at the top of the upper arm, just beneath this electrode. That's set up number one. Setup number two with one lead is take away the electrode right at the front and take away the triceps electrode. So you're just left with middle and posterior deltoid. Electrode placement for elbow flexion. Got one electrode on the belly of the bicep and one electrode just above the wrist crease. Electrode placement for elbow extension. Got one electrode just above the olecranon or bony bit at the elbow, one electrode on the belly of the triceps, so mid upper arm, In this video, I'm going to show you electrode placement to get wrist and finger extension. One electrode over the motor point of the wrist and finger extensors. One electrode over the tenderness portion, so the fleshy bit on the forearm. You can see where that comes in relation to the elbow crease. And that gives you wrist and finger extension together. Electrode placement for grasp. So that will be finger flexion and thumb adduction and flexion to meet the fingers. So one electrode on the finger flexors just near the wrist crease. And then one electrode over the thinner eminence of the thumb. So the fleshy bit at the base of the thumb. I've used a standard two inch round electrode and just trimmed the edges for this so that you, I just pick up the activity I want. You could also use 1.25 inch round to so a smaller electrode for this purpose. Electro placement for using two channels on an alternating program. So on the Stim Pro program three. So channel A, I've got two electrodes on the wrist and finger extensors. So one on the finger extensor motor point. So kind of two thirds of the way up the forearm, one on the tenderness portion of the forearm. Then channel B, I've got the flexor tenderness part for one electrode and then mid forearm for just between picking up the wrist and finger flexors. So channel A comes in for wrist and finger extension, rest period. Channel B comes in for wrist and finger flexion. This video, I'm going through electrode placement for foot drop. So for ankle dorsiflexion with a little bit of eversion. So with our Sabo Steam Pro, it doesn't matter which way around with the electrodes. 
and I have it on program six. So the top electrode needs to be just off the tip of the fibula head. So to find this, run the finger up from the ankle bone until you feel the fibula head and just the top right corner of the electrode is on there. Second electrode wants to be about one or two fingers breadth down and in the fleshy bit of tibialis anterior. So to find that, make sure that it doesn't run on the tibia bone, which runs down the front of the shin, just come in to that nice soft channel there. So you can see the stimulation coming on. If you find you need more eversion, you can move the top electrode slightly up and back. If you find you want to look a bit more inversion, where the ankle turns in, try moving this electrode slightly down and in. You can also, for more eversion, where the ankle turns out, try moving this one, the lower electrode, slightly further around to the side of the shin. Thank you for watching our Sable Stim Pro Electro Pad Placement video. If you have any questions about the Sable Stim Pro or want to learn about any of our other innovative devices, please go to www.sabo.com for more information. Also, please click the like button or leave us a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our new releases. Because with Sabo, there is no plateau in sight.